Did you know that setting up custom domains for GitHub pages is really easy? I'm going to show you how using this simple website I have here. I made a demo on this a few days ago showing how I achieved this curved effect. And here I have this domain I bought, I think last year, which I still don't have anything on yet. Yep, it takes me to go that. So now I'm going to serve this project here on this simple HTML CSS dot dev domain. The first thing I'm going to do is to create the repo for this on GitHub. I'll just call it curved effect. I'm going to keep this private for now, but later I'm going to show you why this has to be public. So I create the repository. Then I can copy this, go to my code editor. I'm going to initialize Git here. I can add the origin. So now that I have this, I can add all the code in it, commit, and then I can push to the curved effect repository. So now when I refresh, I have the curved effect uh, project here. So now I can go to settings and go to pages. And now I can have a GitHub page for this. Now by having the repository as private, I cannot have a GitHub page for it unless I upgrade my subscription. And I'm currently on the free subscription on GitHub. So I'm going to first make this public. So I come here and and make this public. And now that's public, I can go back to pages and deploy from a branch, just deploy from the main branch and save. Okay, now that this is saved, my repository will be hosted on Dillion Megida, my GitHub username, dot github.io slash curved effect, which is the name of the repository. And now we have this, although I still need to work on the styles, but that's for something else. So now that that is hosted, the next thing is a custom domain. And the custom domain I want for this is simple HTML CSS dot dev. I'm going to have this here. I'm going to click save, but then there's a DNS check that will be in progress, but that is currently not going to work because I haven't set up the DNS. Now we go back to GoDaddy, where I bought my domain. You can also use Namecheap or some other domain providing service. I can come here, go to domain, manage DNS. And then this is where I'm going to add a records that points to the GitHub pages. When you go to the GitHub docs, you can see here we create four A records, which points to all these addresses for GitHub pages. All of them look the same. We just have 108, 109, 110, 111. So I'm just going to copy the first one and go to this DNS. I can delete this first record. Okay, then I can add an A record, have the at here for the root and for the value. I'll paste this first address, another A record, keep this on at, and this is going to be 109 nine add another record this is going to be one ten and add another record a add and this is going to be one eleven Yep. And now that I have all of that, I can save all the records. Now we go back to GitHub pages here. When I put this as the custom domain on the root, you see that it actually created a CNAME file and the CNAME file just has this domain here. So I think this is what GitHub uses to know that when you assess this custom domain, it should show the content of dillonmegera.github.io slash curved effect. So we can come back here to settings, go to pages and uh, yeah, the DNS check is in progress. This will probably take some time before it is done. We can already check this simple HTML CSS dev. Let me use HTTP for now, but it's currently not ready. I'll just fast forward to when the DNS check has been completed. Okay. A couple of minutes later, DNS check is now successful. So if we go back here and I refresh simple HTML CSS dev now shows the content of our repository. What's also beautiful about this is that GitHub pages also serves free TLS certificate, which allows us to provide more security for our website. TLS certificate is being provisioned. This could also take some time. Certificate is active. So if we go back here, if I refresh, you can see that this is not just HTTP, but it is HTTPS and we have this. And now if I want to make changes to the website, I can just make a change to the project. So in the HTML here, let's say for this lum lum, I have decode, add this, I don't know, change brand name. And now I can do a git push, but that won't work because on the remote, we have a C name file, which is not yet on local. So I'll first git pull so that I can pull that C name file. And now I can git 
push my changes. The deployment shouldn't take a lot of time before the change is reflected. And after a few seconds, now we have the new logo here. So you just change your ripple, it reflects on your custom domain. So yeah, when you're hosting on platforms like Netlify or a few others, you probably have to change things like name servers and all that. But with GitHub pages, you just have to change your A records and you can even do custom domains like www and the rest. I'm going to share a link to this doc below, which you can use for setting other custom subdomains if you want. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, share with others and also subscribe for more videos like this.